everyone, John Gonzalez here. Today I'm in Comstock Park, Michigan, where Parent Brewing Company is located. And I'll be honest with you, this is my hometown brewery. I come here often for meetings, maybe to meet up with friends, or just to come and check out some of the brand new releases. You can hear the leaves rustling there in the background. It is a beautiful fall day. Uh, every fall though, they have their big uh, anniversary party, the big backyard bash. This year it looked a little different. And uh, they also celebrate a lot of new releases around this time of year. Let's go inside, uh, hang out with uh, brewer Connor Klopchek and uh, let us uh, know what's going on and catch us up on those new releases. Hey Gonzo, good to see you again. <laughs> it's great to see you, my friend. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, yeah, the Backyard Bash definitely was a lot different this year. Mm -hmm. Weren't allowed to have a big party out back, which we were kind of bummed about. Um, usually have like up to 5,000 people, uh, a lot of different beers that we come out with just for that. And, you know, there's great live music, a cornhole tournament that we missed out on. But we still wanted to do something for people. So not only did we come out with a, an exclusive Amber Ale that we put into six packs, we also came out with an anniversary box, kind of like... Um, a take-home box that included a six-pack of the amber ale, uh, two stainless steel pint glasses, some koozies, uh, a nothing bunt cake who's a vendor for our parties a lot, and a lot of different coupons for um, the vendors that couldn't make it out because of it, and a Spotify playlist of all of the bands that uh, have played here before. How did they go over well with uh, fans? It went over really well. We uh, sold out really quickly, so we could have done more boxes. Unfortunately, we, we didn't know that it was going to be that popular. It was happy it was. Um, and then the Amber Ale by itself has been doing really well. People have received that well and uh, are bringing home six packs of it. So was the Backyard Bash in your own backyard? Or how, how did you, what did you call it? Yeah, we were joking around saying it's uh, Bash Your Own Backyard. <laughs> Awesome. And I know in, in, I know that it's also a busy time for new releases for you guys, too. It is. Yeah, the fall um, is when we start coming out with kind of our maltier beers, which we really like doing and have had uh, some good traction with. We have our Malted Milk Ball Imperial Porter that comes out, um, the Amber Ale, and then we have our Twilight Train, which is a black IPA as well. And uh, we're constantly trying to come up with new beers, so we have a lot of test batch IPAs that we're calling them that are allowing consumers to come in and give their feedback and we're making adjustments every week and trying to come out with a new one uh, quickly to see, you know, try to dial in an IPA for the people who actually come to the pub. I know all these beers we're going to sample are available now in the tap room, but I was so excited that the mm -hmm. uh, Malted Milk Ball Porter is still available now, <laughs> right? So let's get, let's try this right now. Yeah. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit more about this beer. So this was actually the very first beer that Parent ever made. Really? Yep. It was uh, the first beer that went through our system and then it got put into barrels to age. So not the first beer on tap, but definitely the first beer to go through the system. Yeah. But it's a uh, Imperial Porter around 12.8%. Um, saw some whiskey barrels, so you get some whiskey bourbon on the I get a lot of on the aroma. On the, yeah, on the aroma. Uh, you get some chocolate and vanilla as well. Uh, really trying to mimic that malted milk ball candy, so there's some sweetness in the body. And it's overall, I think a very well-rounded beer, and not too, uh, not too much as far as a barrel-aged beer goes. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness, that's so good. <laughs> it's, I, I, it's not too boozy, but there's some sweetness that really balances it out. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've come out with this three years in a row after the uh, the initial one. And it's done well. We have it for sale in uh, on draft and in 22 ounce bottles as well. And you have the uh, 19 and 20 available. Uh, yes, we do. We have Here. last year's available right now as well. So you can kind of taste last year's and mm -hmm. see how it aged for a while because this beer does age pretty well. So I have the I have the 18 at home. So I could do a nice little. Uh, you can do a three year. Nice vertical. little vertical. Yes. There you go. All right. What's next on the list here? Uh, going down the same way. This is our test batch six. So, test batch number six. Now I've been here for number five. So mm -hmm. uh, what what is what's up with these test bath batches? Uh, we're just trying to dial it into kind of we wanted to make a beer for our consumers that come to the pub, but really wanted to make tweak it to where they like. So we want them to come out, talk to our servers, tell them what they like, what they don't like, um, and then they're giving that feedback back to us, and we're making adjustments every week. So, All right, so let's try. What's what's hops here? What, what do you have? In this one, we have Simcoe. Uh, Sultana and uh, Citra as well. Well, this is a lot more mellow than test batch number five. It's not as bitter as, as yep. I remember. So that was one of the things was the uh, customers came back saying it was a little too bitter. So we dialed in uh, the bitterness a little bit and it's a lot more of a well-rounded beer. I think. Yeah. All right. Where, uh, what's coming up next 
for Perrin? Uh, coming up next is just more releases, more beer. Uh, coming out with some more test batch IPAs, and then we have our Perrin Reserve, which is a triple mashed Russian Imperial Stout with golden raisins. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. You want to wait to <laughs> say that one more time? Triple mashed Russian Imperial Stout aged with golden raisins and caramelized lactose sugar. Jeez. That will be released in November, and okay. that will actually be in a gift set with Malted Milk Ball for the holidays. Nice. And then later um, in the month of November, looking to get Rosalaire back out, too. So a nice Flanders Red we do every two years. Uh, really looking forward to that beer. Cool, cool. Now, where can people get more information about new releases and what's happening here? Because I know the, the, the tap room is busy. You're <laughs> bringing food out. The food's still fantastic. Uh, where can people get more details? Uh, number one is our website, uh, parentbrewing.com. You can go to all of our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, popping out a you know, social media blast on all of our new stuff. So just take a follow with us, and you can stay up to date. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Great seeing you again. You too.